Apache Kafka is a very popular open source stream processing platform. In this video, we will see how easy it is to integrate Apache Kafka with Spring Boot and create producers to publish messages to Apache Kafka topics and consumers to consume messages from the Kafka topics. We will create a REST API to post messages to Apache Kafka. I have already got a local instance of Apache Kafka running on my machine. If you want to learn how to install Apache Kafka step by step, please watch my video Installing Apache Kafka on Unix. Here I have Spring Tool Suite open. Let's go to File, New, Other, go down to Spring and then choose Spring Starter Project. Click Next. Let's give it a name Kafka Producer Consumer. Build type is Maven, packaging is JAR, Java version is 11. Click Next. For the frameworks, let's search web and choose Spring Web. Search Kafka and choose Spring for Apache Kafka. Let's expand the project and open that pom.xml file. And here we can see the two dependencies we added for the web and Kafka. Let's right click on the package, choose new package and give it a name service. Let's right click on the package and choose new class, call it producer. This is going to publish messages to Kafka. You publish messages to topics in Kafka. Let's create a static final string topic and name our topic as my topic. Next, let's auto wire the Kafka template provided by Spring, which provides convenience methods to publish to Kafka. It takes in two strings the name of the topic we want to publish and the message. Let's name it Kafka temp. Let's fix the imports. Let's create a method publish to topic which takes in the message we want to post to the topic. Let's put a system out publishing to topic with topic name and next using our Kafka template we send to the topic our message. That is it to create a producer. How simple it is as Spring Boot does all the hard work behind the scenes. Next let's create a consumer. Right click on the package, choose new class, call it consumer mark it as a service. Now let's a Kafka listener which as its name suggests listens to Kafka messages on the specified topic here my topic where our producer is publishing to and group ID let's call it my group. The method consume from topic takes in the message received from the topic. Inside we can do anything with the message perform aggregation with previous messages transform it and further push it to another Kafka topic etc. Here we just do a system out to show that we got the message. To test our producer and consumer let's create an API. So let's right click on the package and choose new package give it a name controller. Right click on the package choose new class and give it a name Kafka controller. Let's annotate it with the rest controller annotation. Let's auto wire the producer class we created earlier. Let's import it. Let's create a post call to slash post URI to post the messages to Kafka. First, let's do a request mapping to Kafka app for the main controller. Let's create a method send message which takes in the request param message which is of type string message. Inside, let's call producer dot publish to topic method which takes in the message to be published. Finally, let's open our application dot properties file to tell our producer and consumer about the location of the Apache Kafka instance. Here I have pasted a few properties. Let me go over them with you. Server.port specifies the port where our app will listen to. Next we have a few spring.kafka.consumer properties to indicate the bootstrap servers or the Kafka server which is running locally on my machine so localhost at its port 1992. We indicate the group ID as my group the same we used in our Kafka listener. For auto offset rest, we have used earliest. This flag tells Kafka where to start reading the offsets in case you do not have any commit yet. In other words, it will start either from the earliest or from the latest if you have not persisted any offset in Zookeeper yet. For the key and value for deserializing, we are using string deserializer also the same for the producer. 
For the producer, we are again telling the Apache Kafka location. So this ties the producers and consumers with Kafka. That is it. Let's start our app. Right click and choose Run as Spring Boot App. Looks like there was a problem starting the app. Oh, it was not able to locate the auto wired producer in the controller. So let's go back to our producer class. Oh, I had missed adding the service annotation so Spring could not locate it. Let's do that. Let's start the app again. This time it starts successfully. We see the consumer getting launched, our topic and group. Now to test it, we need a client to execute the post call. You can use any app like Postman. Here on Firefox, if you go to add-ins, you can see that I am using the rested client. To get it, you can go to your plugins section, put in the search rested, then click here. Since I already have it installed, it gives me the option to remove it. You would see something like install. After that, you will see this angle brackets on your browser, which you can click to launch the rested client. So let's change the method to post, put in the URL for our app, http localhost 8888 slash kafka app slash post and using question mark pass in the param message with a value say hello. It was successful with the 200 status code. Let's go back to our Spring Boot app and we see that the producer successfully posted the message to the topic and the consumer picked it up from there and printed it. Let's go back and enter a few more messages. Second message 200 status code, third message which is successful again. Going back to the console, we see the publishing of these messages to the topic and the consumer getting it and printing it to the console. In this video, we created a Spring Boot app to create a producer to publish messages to a Kafka topic and a consumer which listens to the topic and consumes the message. We saw how Spring Boot does the heavy lifting and makes it extremely easy for us to integrate Kafka in our app. Thanks for watching.